okay? So what am I doing? I first come up, I close and make contact. Get in the yellow zone. Grab the bicep, bad guy curls in, brings his hand in, grab the wristwatch. Pretend like I'm holding a beer, weave my wrist over my own wrist, Course, keep things core, head behind the shoulder, lift up, drive down. Okay, a little bit more detail. All right, so I'm closing the distances. I like to get more directly on the flank here. All right, I don't like to get here on the, on the back side here, as I like to get directly on the side. I make contact with the bicep here, grabbing around the bicep, and I pretend like Dan's grabbing a wristwatch, and the palm of my hand here is going to be that wristwatch. All right, my head is going to bury in the back of the shoulder in case he tries to move into me and he wants to strike. So I want to keep everything close to my core, bury my head here behind the shoulder. I punch my hand through here like I'm holding a beer. Now I want to place myself here right in the middle of the wrist bone, okay? And I want to go maybe about an inch out but on my own wrist. I never spill my beer. Cops don't spill their beer, okay? So to keep the pressure is I pretend like I'm holding a beer. Now all I do is my outside elbow lifts up and then I weave it around my own wrist. All right, my head here still sitting back here, but to create pressure, I keep things close to my core, I lift up on this hand, that's controlling this arm, and I drive down at the same time. So you'll see Dan, as we're walking, start to come up on his toes. Okay? So what are we gonna learn here with the common mistakes here? Why the moves will fit, okay? First of all, being lazy coming in here. It's gonna open up punches, remember. Act like you're speaking Italian. Hip to hip contact, grab the bicep, grab the wristwatch. Fingers pointing away as we don't want to grab on here. This is a very common mistake. So my palm literally goes over his wristwatch, okay? When I punch through here, all right? First of all, I don't want to do a butt hook, which is kind of like curling my arm in towards me. This is going to put the weave more on the muscle area of the arm, where I want that target here, about this four to six inch here, right by his wrist bone, okay? Now, the biggest mistake that officers will make when learning this move here, all right, is spilling the beer. When I spill the beer, I take out that bone edge pressure there on this radial nerve here that's going through the arm. So as long as I keep that there, I lift up and I drive down, all right? The other most common mistake is officers when they're learning this move through the whole sequence doing this. Where is my core strike? Who's got more core strike, him or I at this point? He does. So I need to keep things in tight. And this helps me also manage the distance to control against punches, okay? So what does this look here without a training partner? Once again, as I want to get, come in more, I can approach at the 45, but I really want to be facing them, okay? I want to be on directly on the flank. So I walk in, I turn, okay? Then I get control here of the bicep, then I grab the wristwatch. My head here buries behind the shoulder so I can monitor him if he starts trying to turn in for me for punches. I punch my hand through like I'm holding a beer. Cops never spill their beer. This is why we drive that bone edge here. And then here, as I weave over around here, I lift up and I drive down. And I keep my elbows in tight with me. And then we walk. Okay? All right, that's good for that.